It's high summer, and what better way to celebrate it than by Cedric Morris's Summer Flowers. This was painted in 1949 and shows a rather glorious bunch of flowers in a pot, in a niche, with an open window behind. In the middle, you can see an iris. It's almost like a signature for Cedric Morris. And in the top right, you can see what looks like scabious. You also see carnations. I first got to know Cedric Morris about eight or nine years ago. I was aware of his name, but I hadn't, I hadn't developed the emotional attachment that I have to him now. And it was as a result of going around the Chelsea Flower Show and seeing plants, irises in particular, that he had bred. He was a plantsman, and this is such an important part of his character as an artist. He bred many of the plants that he painted. And so there is about his work a feeling of connection of intimacy, almost a feeling of being able to take liberties because he himself, in some respects, was their creator. What I've also noticed, having talked to quite a few horticulturalists and botanists in front of uh, Cedric Morris, is how, even though he uses many of the techniques, and you can see it here with these very strong, emphatic contrasts of colors and shapes, the techniques of modernism and uh, the avant-garde, which he picked up in Paris uh, in the 1920s. Nonetheless, you can always identify the species. His attachment and understanding, his ability to impart the core of its identity remains present in all of his works. And what is also quite appealing about this picture is its provenance, is who owned it, because sometimes the addition of an owner can allow you to perceive it differently. This was in the collection of Beth Chateau. Beth Chateau was another plantswoman. In fact, she was a leading horticulturalist in the uh, latter part of the 20th century, and also a friend of Cedric Morris. In fact, when she first went to Benton End, she recalled her response to it, and it could be describing a painting a bewildering, mind-stretching, eye-widening canvas of colour, textures and shapes. And I can't help feeling that there's a little bit of that on this canvas here. It is eye-widening. It is eye-stretching. I love the thought that it was owned by someone who was as passionate, as exacting about flowers, their breeding, their appearance, as Cedric Morris was himself. It adds a layer of depth and richness. It's almost as if the painting has been given a blessing by someone who's in a position to do so.